Hey there, I'm going to put together a three-part workout for your uh, biceps. I'm going to put together three different exercises. I'm going to explain each one and uh, you know your proper form and the way you should be doing these exercises. Uh, picking biceps, one of the reasons I'm picking biceps, that's one of the you know body parts that I see that people do, and it's probably the, the body part that everybody does the wrong way. Okay, They're probably you know, too much weight, too much momentum, not enough focus on the negative. So I want to explain each parts of the bicep curl so you fully understand the weight that you should be picking, repetitions you should be doing, and the mode, or excuse me, the, uh, the speed that you should be doing the actual uh, movement too, okay? So the first thing I'm going to teach you and talk about is going to be the barbell curl, okay? Very basic uh, bicep exercise, probably the number one wrong, or number one exercise that people do wrong, okay? A lot of momentum, a lot of swinging. Your biceps are very small muscles, however they are very strong but they're very small muscles. It doesn't take a lot to isolate them and to, and to break down the tissues and, and do what needs to be done. So you don't have to focus so much on weight, but focus on the form and focus on that, that burn. I'm gonna explain that, explain that burn and that pump and what, the, uh, what that means for your workout. So again, it's a barbell curl I'm gonna teach you. There's so many varieties that you can, you can use as far as grips are concerned. You have wide, you have narrow, you have very close for your uh, bicep curl, excuse me. So, the wider you go, the more the outer part of the bicep you work. The closer you go, the more the inner part of the bicep you work. I like working effective and efficient, so I'm just gonna do a regular grip. If uh, I'm gonna superset or drop set, I would probably maybe incorporate some of those other grips. Uh, I'll talk about that at another time. So, uh, I'm gonna approach the bar, and my reference point is gonna be my legs, my hips, okay? That's about as wide as I need to have my hand, okay? So I'm gonna approach it, I'm gonna unrack it, and I'm gonna step back, okay? Feet are a little bit wider than my hips. I like to tilt, to tilt forward just a little bit. That that little tilt, that prevents me from rocking, okay? The first thing that starts to happen when you're upright like this, and you're trying to lift the weight from your hip and try to get it up towards your chest, it's this action here, you're gonna hit it. You don't wanna do that, so to eliminate that, you tilt forward. Another thing I want you to realize here too before you get started is the position of your elbow, okay? You don't want your elbows back here. Pretend there's a seam and it's running up the side of your body, okay? It's seen from your pants. Kind of place your arms in that seam, okay? That's where you need them to be. You don't need to be way out back here. You don't need to be way out here, okay? Again, control the weight is important. So you're uh, getting set, making sure you have the weight aligned properly or the bars aligned properly are important. So from here, tilt it forward, feet a little bit wider than my hips. From here, I'm going to hinge at my elbow. What I'm thinking about doing is squeezing my biceps and then coming right back down to the starting position and going right back up. There's no hesitation at the top. There's no hesitation at the bottom. Okay, I'm putting complete stress on the biceps, staying tilted, and just using my elbows, keeping the shoulders out of the equation. Now, I'm squeezing as I'm going up. Now, that negative portion the, the, the uh, eccentric, the downward motion, the resistance, whatever you want to call it, is the most important part. Once I get the weight to here, I'm not just dropping it down. I'm feeling it down, getting that resistance from the weight to go into the muscle. That's how you get strong, that's how you tear the tissues down, that's how you build quality muscle, and then ultimately the more muscle you have on your body, the leaner you're going to get, okay? So, when I'm coming up, again, deeper shoulder width, a little, excuse me, a little bit wider on my hips, and from here, tilted, and I'm bending at the elbow, squeezing, and I'm feeling it down, okay? Exhale as I come up, and I'm staying in complete control. There's no hitching, okay? I call that the, it looks like you're dancing, okay? I'm not a dance studio. This is a, a, a workout facility, and I'm gonna teach a proper form, and, and uh, no dancing here, okay? So stay in control, and my motto is, don't let the weight control you, you control it, okay? That's a basic bicep barbell curl.